Ever since The Force Awakens came out, there's been a new Star Wars movie every year. First Force Awakens, and then Rogue One, and then The Last Jedi, finally Solo. Personally, I think the spin-offs have been much better than the sequels. I don't hate Force Awakens or The Last Jedi, though they're both fine, but they both could have been much better. That's just my opinion. I don't know why, but I get the feeling not a lot of people like The Last Jedi. But today I'm not talking about why The Last Jedi is good or bad. I'm talking about the spin-offs. And because Disney owns Star Wars and Marvel is making lots of successful movies every year, we'll be getting a new Star Wars movie every year until the end of time. Could be good or, or bad, we'll see. But I've decided to say which Star Wars spin-offs I think they should make, and some they shouldn't make, and what they could do with some of them. I mean, they'll probably won't listen to me, I'm just some loser on the internet, but I don't know, let's start with some they shouldn't make. Obi-Wan. Alright, hold up. Hear me out before you click away. Obi-Wan before episode 3. I think a movie set in between 3 and 4 could be amazing if it was done properly. But only if Ian... Ian? Ian? Only if this guy is casted as Obi-Wan. And if it's anyone else, the movie is immediately bad. Yoda is another one they also should make. I like Yoda, and I know a lot of people want to know his backstory and all, but I think the fact that we know literally nothing about him is what makes him so cool. They also shouldn't make an Anakin movie. I know a lot of people want one set in between episodes 1 and 2, or one set in between episodes 2 and 3, but one in between 1 and 2 would be boring, and there's a whole show about him in between 2 and 3, and it's amazing. I also don't think they should make one about any video games, with the possible exception of Republic Commandos, and I'll explain why later, sort of. People want movies based off games like Force Unleashed or Knights of the Old Republic, and I agree about these movies would be pretty dope, but... I mean, have you seen any video game movie ever? They're usually pretty bad, and that's because games are meant to be played, and that doesn't translate well into movies. If you were to do these movies, I think you'd have to just remake a whole new story and just use some of the characters in it. And if you do make it, don't screw it up. Alright, moving on to ones I think absolutely should be made. I'm going to start by quickly listing the three that everybody wants and are probably in the works. Obi-Wan, Vader, and Boba Fett. Everybody wants these, including me. If they're casted properly, are about the proper things, they would be good. And I've already talked about Obi-Wan, I want it in between 3 and 4, but I want Vader to be just Vader, going around after Order 66, hunting down Jedi. Like those comics that I haven't read. Two hours of the hallway scene from Rogue One. It would be amazing. Boba Fett, on the other hand, could also be pretty good. We've seen what he does in the Clone Wars, but they should make one about him in between then and 5, because we have no idea what happened to him. Also cast Daniel Logan or Tamora Morrison. I don't know if that's how you say his name or not. But as cast him as Boba, depending on where in the timeline it is. If it's anyone else, the movie is immediately bad. It's a bit like Ewan... I still don't know how to say his name. It's a bit like casting this guy as Obi-Wan. If it's anyone else, it's bad. Another one they should make is Grievous. We know absolutely nothing about him other than what we've got in the Clone Wars, which isn't much. And a, a movie about him getting lightsabers for his flying collection could be really cool. You could also learn a bit about his backstory. And that's that's what I want. It's not. It's a different case than Yoda, because I actually want to know his backstory and not knowing anything is what makes him cool. But moving on. The movie I've always wanted is about Imperial Stormtroopers. Clone Troopers would also be good, but Stormtroopers we've, we've never seen. We've We've already gotten stuff about clone troopers in the Clone Wars. It's called the Umbara Arc and Domino Squad, and it's the best things in Star Wars. But we've never seen anything like this with stormtroopers. I want a movie that just shows that shows the Empire's the good guys and it's about a squad or whatever. A whole movie like the Mimbin scene in Solo. Picture Band of Brothers, but in space. It would be amazing. But just don't give them a redemption arc. Keep them as the bad guys. I don't know why you can't make a movie about bad guys doing bad things. But that's all I really want. Alright, let's talk about how they could do a few of these movies. Spoilers for Solo if you run out. And if you haven't already seen it, I'll give you a second to click away. Which, if you haven't, what, what are you doing here? Right, so Solo ends with Darth Maul being revealed as a major crime boss and Han and Chewie going off to work for a gangster on Tatooine, which is very obviously Jabba. It's set up to be a sequel, I think, but I don't think they should make a Solo 2. But I do think what they could do is something with young Han. They're very obviously going to do something with Darth Maul and everything, but I think using Han a little bit would be pretty good. I'm getting a bit sidetracked, and I don't know how to logically convey this. I think the first movie they should do with this stuff is Boba Fett. Make it a Boba, played by Daniel Logan, because that's just where we work for the timeline. 
and make him working for Java or something to do something about Java's rival crime gang, which would be Darth Maul's crime organization. I have no idea what it's called, but I'm too lazy to Google it. You could also throw some iconic bounty hunters into like Bosk or Dengar or Cad Bane if the unfinished Clone Wars episode isn't canon, which I hope it is because it's really good. And people like that, people from the Clone Wars mostly, Ambo or whatever. Speaking of Clone Wars, Clone Wars is coming back. It's been almost five years. Dave Filoni, I love you. If this is good, I'll, I'll forgive you for Rebels, because it wasn't very good. But just just so you know, if you mess this up, I will mess you up. Moving on, back back to what I was talking about earlier. You, you could even throw Ventress in there. Just, I don't know. The whole movie could be about iconic bounty hunters working to take down Darth Maul. But after that, with Darth Maul's crime organization destroyed, you could make a Kenobi movie about Obi-Wan finishing the job. Obviously, they can't kill Maul, but Obi-Wan could destroy everything Maul had worked so hard to build, further building the anger between them as it builds up to the fight in Rebels. Which is really good, it's the only good part of Rebels. I highly doubt Disney would do all this, but I think it could be pretty cool if it was done properly. I... I don't know, I'm tired. Basically, all I'm trying to say at this video is don't screw anything up. The spin-offs have both been really good, and I don't mind the sequels, but they're not very good. They're, they're not... they're just weird and too sane and too different. I don't know. They're not very good. I could make a whole video about why they're not amazing, but they're not that bad. The Last Jedi is not the worst movie ever made. It's just, it's it's mediocre. Parts of it are really, really good. Parts of it are really, really bad. I'm getting, I'm getting sidetracked. All I really want is for you guys to take a lot longer in between the mo each movie. Make each movie a major event again, like it was when Force Awakens came up. Remember when everybody was so hyped for that? I was really hyped for that. It was really good. It was fun. And it'll never happen, because Marvel's too successful. I'm trying to copy that. I don't know, I I'm tired. Bye.